Hey everyone, this is Afizullah Masudi and you're watching from Code with Hafiz. I welcome you to this new series on Laravel JetStream and Azure Plus View. You will learn about it by building a complete online courses platform where we can publish our courses and students will buy the course and enroll in it using a payment gateway. So Laravel JetStream and Azure Plus View is a great choice to build this kind of application because it gives you a nice starter kit with login, register, profile management and many uh, more or other cool uh, pre-built features. So we can start right away by building the structure of our application from the very beginning without even stressing about uh, the starter code. Of course we will do some minor customizations too without completely relying on the starter kit. So the complete list of technologies we will use in this series is Laravel for backend, Vue.js for the frontend, Inertia.js for server side rendering and uh, Tailwind CSS for the frontend and uh, some other packages that we will require with the time being. So the basic knowledge that you uh, require for this course is PHP basics, JavaScript basics, HTML, CSS, familiarity with Laravel framework and Vue.js framework. Still, if you don't even know how to code, you can follow instructions same uh, as I do in this course and you will be good to go to build the application till the very end of this series. And if you face any kind of problems or errors or issues, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, ask uh, about the issue in the comments. So I will respond to you as soon as possible. In return, what I want from you is to support my channel and if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe too if you don't want to miss any updates about this series. So thank you. Now let's start building the online course platform by downloading a fresh Laravel JetStream Inertia Plus View project in our system. So let's open a browser and in here uh, search for Laravel JetStream in the Google. And we can go to this first link. So let's click on it. And in here uh, you can read about the introduction here. And for Inertia Plus View, at the right sidebar, you can see we have Inertia Plus View. So let's click on it and let's just scroll down. So this is the Inertia Plus View. Now for this one, uh, if you want to read the introduction, you can read it here. And for the installation, we can go to this installation at the left sidebar. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a fresh Laravel uh, project. So let's copy this command and what I will do is open a terminal here and let's go to desktop directory. So I will install my fresh project in my desktop. So let's paste the command and for the name of the project online underscore courses and uh, let's press enter. Now it will download the latest version of Laravel into our system. So please wait for it to finish. So our fresh Laravel 10 project has been installed successfully. Now the next thing we want to do, as the documentation says, we need to CD in our project directory. So let's say CD online courses and then we want to install Laravel JetStream. So we can copy the command from here and let's paste it here and let's press enter. So Laravel JetStream has been installed also successfully. Now the next thing, if we check out the documentation, and here you can see you can install JetStream with Liveware or install JetStream with Inertia. So if we scroll down or click on this with Inertia and here you can find these commands. So the first command will only install uh, Inertia. The second one will install the team's feature with it. And the third one is uh, for server side rendering. So let's copy this command and let's get back to uh, our terminal and paste the command. So let's press enter. So Laravel JetStream Inertia with SSR has been installed successfully. Now let's get back to the documentation. Now we want to finalize the installation. So we have to install our node packages. So I will use yarn for this uh, purpose. So let's get back to the terminal and let's say yarn here. And uh, while this is running, the next thing uh, we want to do is migrate the tables. But before that, we need a database for our application. So my XAMPP server is already running. Now let's open a new tab 
and let's go to localhost php my admin and in here i will create a new database so i will name it online underscore courses and for the collection let's select unicode ci utf8 so let's create it and now we need to link our application to this so let's get back to the terminal and while this one is running let's open a new tab and i will open uh, the project in visual studio code and in here let's go to dot env file and uh, in here this is for the database connection so instead of laravel let's say online underscore courses and uh, the username is root and i don't have any password so let's close this one and let's get back to the terminal so for the changes let's say php audition config colon cache now after this let's say php audition migrate to migrate all the tables now after the migration let's run the php server so php audition serve and if we check out the node packages installation well, we have this warning here so it says that package log json file found and because we are using yarn rather than npm so we need to remove this file now uh, before that let's remove this file first now i will delete this and now get, let's get back to the terminal and compile our uh, assets so yarn wheat which will watch over the assets compilation or if you want to run for the build you can say yarn build so for now let's just say yarn wheat and it will compile all the changes and now what we can do is we can open this url at the browser so let's get back to the browser and in here let's open a new tab let's paste our url and let's press enter so you can see this is the welcome page and we are using laravel version 10.43 with php version of 8.1 and uh, let's register first so i will create an admin at app.com well this one is the name so let's write it admin with a capital a and let's say admin at app.com for the email and the password is password so let's press enter and we are automatically logged in to the system and we have this nice starter kit with a menu and header and welcome uh, note and if i click on this uh, drop down menu you can see we have logout and profile so if you click out uh, on the profile and here we have this nice profile management so we have the profile information that we can change or update we can update uh, our password we have this nice two-factor authentication also and we can also check out the sessions that are logged in uh, to this account also in here and we can also delete our account so this is the nice starter kit that comes with laravel jetstream inertia plus view now this was all about this video so i hope you enjoyed watching the video and found it useful if so don't forget to hit the like button and leave a nice comment too and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this now thanks for watching and i beg you farewell have a nice day